A High Court action against the Northern Territory's paperless arrest regime has been launched today. The Attorney-General is standing by the laws and has dismissed any impact on indig Indigenous incarceration, which he says has more to do with lifestyles and passive welfare. The laws are aimed at getting so-called troublemakers off the streets and reducing paperwork for police officers. I know uh, the burden on our police officers and unfortunately uh, paperwork uh, and excessive amounts of paperwork do affect uh, the operation of police. Introduced late last year, police have the power to detain someone for up to four hours if they've committed or are suspected of committing a public nuisance type offence, such as making too much noise. The North Australian Aboriginal Justice Agency is challenging the regime in the High Court, saying it usurps the courts and unfairly impacts Indigenous people. At a time when the Northern Territory has a crisis in Indigenous over-imprisonment, these laws are unnecessary and will only make the problem worse. The Attorney-General believes this crisis has more to do with the lifestyles of Indigenous people and passive welfare. Unfortunately, because of uh, lifestyles, uh, Aboriginal people are overrepresented in our health system, underrepresented in our education system, overrepresented in our jail system. Lawyers taking on the case describe paperless arrests as an infringement on personal liberty, not seen anywhere else in Australia. These laws are unprecedented, which is why it's important that the High Court has the opportunity to determine whether or not it's lawful to give police these types of detention powers without any involvement of the courts. The Attorney-General, a former police officer, helped draft the laws and says he'll be waiting with bated breath to see what the High Court decides. Felicity James, ABC News.